The world of humanoid robotics just took a giant leap forward. And it's not science fiction anymore. We now have a robot that literally never sleeps. UB Tech just unveiled the Walker S2, the world's first humanoid robot with autonomous battery swapping. That means it can operate 24-7, non-stop, without ever needing a human to step in. That alone is shocking. But just as this was happening, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang took the stage at the Beijing Supply Chain Expo, and he dropped what might be one of the most important warnings of the AI era. His message was clear. The time for humanoid robots is now. And with what we just saw from Walker S2, you can't argue with him. He didn't just hype the future. He explained why this technology is coming faster than most people expect, and why countries like China might take the lead. He even said companies like Xiaomi and BYD could become major players in the humanoid robotics space. This isn't just a robotics revolution, it's a race, and the clock just started. Welcome back, friends. Alfie here bringing you two major updates. UB Tech unveils its next generation industrial humanoid robot. Walker S2 and NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang shared his thoughts on the rise of humanoid robots at Beijing Supply Chain Expo. You're watching the AI Nexus, and as always, we're here to bring you every step of the future. Let's go. So let's start with the big shocker. A robot that never sleeps. UB Tech's Walker S2 isn't just another humanoid. It's something different, something industry-focused, something persistent. The company has been working on humanoid form factors for years, but the S2 marks a serious turning point. This machine wasn't built to entertain or show off fluid dance moves. It was designed to function in the real world, around the clock, performing tasks in complex industrial environments and never stopping. The game changer? It's autonomous battery swapping system. No more needing to pause the robot and plug it into a charging dock. No more having a human technician change the battery manually. Walker S2 detects when its power is running low, walks over to a battery station, detaches the drained pack, swaps in a fresh one, and continues its mission, all by itself. It's like watching a Tesla that walks, works in factories, and changes its own battery before it runs out of juice. This enables true, continuous operation. Think about what that means for industries. Right now, even the best autonomous systems are limited by power logistics. Drones land when the battery dies. Warehouse bots sit at charging stations for hours. But not Walker S2. It doesn't wait. It doesn't rest. It doesn't ask for help. It just keeps moving. That kind of 24-7 uptime isn't just impressive. It's transformative. Imagine deploying one of these in a logistics hub. While human workers clock in and out, take breaks, or go home, this robot just keeps going. It could be sorting packages, delivering tools, performing inventory tasks, or monitoring safety systems all day, every day, with no loss in performance, no risk of fatigue, no distraction, just precision and endurance. Now, it's not just the battery swap that makes Walker S2 unique. This robot also has full anthropomorphic bipedal locomotion, meaning it walks like a human. That's important because many industrial environments aren't built for wheels. Narrow walkways, stairs, uneven surfaces, all of these require legged mobility. Walker S2 can handle it. It's equipped with sensors that allow it to move smoothly, balance under shifting weight, and navigate changing layouts. Combine that with its hands for manipulation, and you're looking at a robot that's not only mobile, but useful. It's not just getting from point A to B, it's doing the work along the way. And here's the bigger implication. Autonomous battery swapping isn't just a feature, it's a mindset shift. It means these robots are being designed to be truly independent, self-sustaining, capable of living in human spaces, solving problems, adapting, and never needing to be told when it's time to take a break. This is where the industry has been trying to go for years. Robot workers that don't need babysitting, and UB Tech just proved it can be done. But if that update wasn't enough to rattle the system, NVIDIA's CEO just made sure the world knows this isn't some slow-moving trend. The humanoid revolution is here, and it's only going to get faster. Jensen Huang stood on stage at the Beijing Supply Chain Expo and didn't mince words. In fact, he said it clearly. The time for humanoid robots is now. 
not eventually, not soon, now. That statement, coming from the man whose chips power almost every major AI system in the world, should make the entire tech industry sit up straight. He's not speculating. He's looking at the data, the market forces, the manufacturing pipeline, and seeing humanoid robotics as the next undeniable wave. Huang pointed to something we all know is happening but don't talk about enough. The global labor shortage. Across manufacturing, logistics, retail, retail, healthcare, and countless other sectors, there are tens of millions of unfilled jobs worldwide. It's not just a developing economy issue. Countries like Japan, Germany, the US, and yes, China, are all facing the same problem. Not enough people to fill critical roles. And that's exactly where humanoid robots fit in. According to Huang, humanoids won't just fill in the labor gaps, they'll drive GDP up. By extending productivity beyond what humans alone can handle, robots can literally make the economy bigger. They won't be taking jobs from people. They'll be doing the jobs no one wants to do or that companies can't find people to do. And they'll be doing them 24 seven. That's the same vision UB Tech is building into Walker S2, and it aligns perfectly with what NVIDIA is preparing to support. Because let's not forget, NVIDIA is already involved with dozens of robotics projects around the globe. Their chips are powering brain-like AI systems and humanoids. They've released Isaac Sim, a full simulation environment for training robots before they even hit the real world. And with partnerships across North America, Europe, and Asia, they're well positioned to provide the computing infrastructure that makes all of this possible. And Jensen Huang isn't stopping there. He's betting big on China specifically. According to him, China is uniquely positioned to lead the humanoid robotics race. Not just because of its massive manufacturing power, but because of its deep talent in AI, mechatronics, and full stack hardware software integration. That's a critical point. While the West has been investing heavily in AI and robotic form factors separately, China's ecosystem is particularly good at merging both. Companies like UB Tech, Xiaomi, and BYD have the engineering power and the production scale to turn ideas into physical, mass-produced products, and fast. And Huang even hinted that Xiaomi and BYD, two companies not traditionally seen as humanoid robotics leaders, could very well enter the scene with breakthrough robots of their own. Given Xiaomi's work on bipedal robots and BYD's insane efficiency in EV manufacturing, that might not be such a wild guess. Even more interesting, NVIDIA says it will collaborate with any robotics company it's permitted to. That's a clear signal that they're open for business and ready to supply the brains for this next generation of humanoid machines. Whether it's startups building home assistants or industrial giants building warehouse bots, NVIDIA wants to be at the heart of it. So now we've got a convergence happening. On one side, Walker S2 just proved that robots can operate non-stop, swap batteries autonomously, and work in real environments. On the other side, NVIDIA's CEO is calling for global action, pointing out the macroeconomic forces pushing humanoid robots to the front of the line and promising to power the whole shift. We're not talking about five or 10 years down the road anymore. We're talking about now. Companies are already testing humanoids in warehouses. Hospitals are exploring robotic assistance. Manufacturing lines are being redesigned to accommodate robots that can walk, lift, carry, and assemble. And with autonomous systems like Walker S2, we no longer need to stop the robot to recharge it. This is where things start to snowball. Battery swapping systems get smarter. Robot legs get faster. Hands get more precise. AI gets better at understanding tasks. And suddenly, we've got humanoid machines that not only resemble human workers, but actually start to outperform them in certain tasks. And if Jensen Huang is right, and history suggests he usually is, then China could become the epicenter of humanoid production. With government backing, enterprise funding, and an engineering culture that moves fast, we could be seeing the rise of robotics giants the world hasn't even heard of yet. All of this brings us back to one idea. The age of humanoid robots isn't about replacing humans. It's about amplifying what's possible. It's about taking on jobs we don't have enough people to do. It's about machines that never sleep, working with people who do. It's about building a future where collaboration between humans and robots drives growth, stability, and opportunity. 
So we've got humanoids that never sleep, powered by the world's leading AI hardware. But what happens when they get pushed, physically? Well, Agility Robotics has the answer, and what Digit did next might be the most impressive reflex we've seen from a robot yet. We're jumping right into one of the most dramatic and impressive moments in humanoid robotics so far this year. A humanoid robot was literally shoved, hard, and instead of crashing to the ground like most robots would, it instantly recovered. Not just almost fell and caught itself, but responded faster than a human would in the same situation. Agility Robotics Digit just pulled off a recovery move that had engineers and AI enthusiasts stunned. And it's not a simulation. It's a real-world test with real physics. But that's not all. Because while Digit is redefining what robot reflexes look like, Hugging Face just released something that could make high-precision robotic manipulation accessible to literally anyone. They've unveiled an open-source robotic hand, yes, a full 3D printable multi-jointed robotic hand for under 250 bucks. It's called the Amazing Hand, and it might just be the most affordable and powerful robotic hand we've seen yet. So let's start with the story that had everyone on the internet doing double takes. Digit's insane reaction speed. Imagine you're walking through a hallway and someone suddenly shoves you from the side. You don't have time to think about it. You just instinctively try to catch your balance. That moment of panic where your body reacts before your brain fully understands what happened. That's what robots have always struggled with. Because human reflexes are incredibly fast, we're talking milliseconds, and robots, traditionally, haven't been able to match that. Until now. In a recent demonstration, Digit was walking forward when it got pushed with a force strong enough to knock most robots off their feet. But Digit didn't flinch. It reacted. Instantly. Its foot shifted, its torso adjusted, and it stabilized in real time without falling over. And when researchers compared that to how fast humans recovered from similar pushes, they found something wild. Digit actually responded quicker than the average person. We're officially in new territory, where robots don't just match us, they're starting to surpass us in physical responsiveness. That's not just impressive, it's a huge deal for the entire humanoid robot industry. Because until now, one of the biggest reasons why we haven't seen robots working in unpredictable human environments is that they fall. They trip, they overcorrect, or they just can't respond fast enough to sudden changes like slippery floors, uneven terrain, or people walking by and bumping into them. But what Digit just showed is that those problems might be behind us. This isn't some CGI stunt either. It's raw robotics. Real sensors, real motors, real software making millisecond decisions. Digit uses an incredibly tuned system of sensors that give it awareness of its own body. Where every limb is at any moment, combined with feedback from the environment around it. That means it can feel when something pushes it off balance, calculate where to move its foot in a fraction of a second, and execute that motion smoothly without toppling over. And it's not just the reflex that's impressive, it's the reliability. This wasn't a lucky one-time trick. The robot can repeat this step recovery under different conditions, different directions of push, even while carrying loads. That's the level of stability you need for a robot to be trusted in real-world jobs. Whether it's walking through a warehouse, navigating a crowded store, or delivering packages on uneven sidewalks, balance is everything. Now combine that balance with Digit's already well-developed mobility and utility-focused design, and we're getting really close to humanoid robots that can actually operate in dynamic environments like a human would. And that's Agility Robotics' whole plan. This robot isn't meant to entertain you on stage. It's designed to work. This demonstration of superior reflexes is proof that Digit is ready to walk into the messy, unpredictable world humans live in and hold its own. And speaking of doing human-like tasks, we've got to talk about the other major story this week, Hugging Face's new robotic hand. Because this isn't some minor update, it's a straight-up revolution in how we think about manipulation hardware. Let's be honest. Robotic hands have traditionally been expensive, heavy, and closed source. Most startups and researchers working on manipulation have had to shell out thousands of dollars just to get a basic robotic gripper. And if you wanted something more dexterous, like actual fingers with individual joints, you're looking at a price tag that rivals a used car. But Hugging Face, through their robotics-focused team at Pollen Robotics, 
just flipped the whole game. They introduced the Amazing Hand, a four-fingered robotic hand with eight degrees of freedom that weighs just 400 grams and costs less than $250 to build. And the best part? It's completely open source. That means you can download the files, 3D print the parts, assemble the hand, and integrate it with your own robot. No waiting for a company to approve your research license. No back and forth emails trying to get a demo unit. Just open access to advanced robotics hardware that you can modify, remix, and improve. And this isn't just a novelty. The amazing hand is capable of gripping objects with dexterity and finesse. You can use it to pick up soft objects, type on a keyboard, manipulate tools. It's built for versatility. And because it runs on Ricci 2, Hugging Face's humanoid robot platform, it already comes with an entire open source software stack that makes it easy to train and control using modern AI tools. This is the kind of tech that makes robotics accessible to high schoolers, hobbyists, indie labs, and creators in countries that typically get left behind in high-tech development. For the price of a smartphone, someone can now build a robotic hand that's actually useful and potentially game-changing. Now imagine what happens when this kind of technology starts being paired with robots like Digit. You've got a body that can walk, recover, and balance like an athlete, and hands that can manipulate objects like a craftsman. That's the dream for humanoid robotics, mobility plus manipulation. And both sides of that puzzle just made a giant leap forward this week. But what's even more exciting is the community impact. Hugging Face's decision to open source this hand isn't just a nice gesture. It's a strategic move to accelerate robotics innovation across the board. The more people who can access and improve these tools, the faster we'll see breakthroughs. Already, creators are taking the amazing hand and customizing it for everything from sign language projects to interactive art installations to prosthetic development. And here's where the two stories converge in a really exciting way. While Agility Robotics is proving that humanoid bodies can be strong, reactive, and stable in the real world, Hugging Face is making sure that those robots can do something when they get there. It's one thing for a robot to walk into your kitchen. It's another for it to open the fridge, grab a bottle, and pour a glass. We're now closing the gap between mobility and interaction. This is where the industry is headed. Humanoids that aren't just cool to look at, but can walk around without falling, grab things without dropping them, and actually help out in meaningful ways. And it's happening faster than most people expected. Not in 10 years, not in five, but right now. So where does that leave us? We're watching robots learn to survive in our chaotic, unpredictable world. Not just operate in perfect lab conditions, but navigate a hallway, carry boxes, grab fragile items, and respond in milliseconds when something unexpected happens. That's no longer science fiction. That's Digit Walking Today. We're also watching AI hardware become democratized. The amazing hand isn't just a product, it's an invitation. An invitation for developers, educators, artists, and young inventors to jump into the world of robotics without needing a six-figure budget. Both these breakthroughs signal the same thing. The walls are coming down, the exclusivity is fading, and robotics is becoming a global movement. Agility Robotics and Hugging Face aren't competing for the spotlight. They're building different pieces of the same future, and they're doing it in ways that inspire community collaboration instead of corporate secrecy. If you've ever dreamed of building a robot that can walk, balance, reach, grab, and interact with the world, your time just got a lot closer. The bodies are getting smarter, the hands are getting cheaper, and the open source wave is pushing everything forward.